probably know this is a stinging nettle and what I want from it is natural cordage so we're going to teach you how to pull it how to split it and how to process it so when you get hold of these what you want to do is you want to pull them away from the pack a little bit because you don't want all these mates to bend over with him and sting you and then grab it tightly around the top and push downwards and you're reducing the amount of um, stings you're going to get then you grab it quite tightly put your hands a little closer together and pull it gently up and out the ground when you've got it there you can just finish off that push and what you're going to get then is a straight and undamaged shaft if you snap if you bend them and rupture them it makes it harder to do the second process what I'm going to do is about a hundred of these at once and then we'll go on to the next step but for you we're going to move straight on so here are my hundred stems and this is what I'm after from it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one of the little divots on the nodes which are around about four inches apart I'm going to crack into that with my thumbnail and split that apart so we split through there making sure the lanes don't cross and carry on all the way up it gets harder to do later in the year because it gets more woody and then what you want to use is you want to use a pebble to um, sort of crush the inner the inner fibers a little bit and eventually we just snap that give it a little bit of that and with your fingers break it and then follow that down once again you can see the lovely texture that what we have there um, and this is going to make good strong cordage as lovely as this is it's pointless making any trying to make any cordage out of it today because it's going to dry up and so the cordage you make today is going to end up looking like an uncoiled spring so this needs drying out and then it needs re-wetting um, which sounds kind of counterintuitive but you're going to get much better and stronger cordage so let's get a bit of dried stuff and show you how we do that believe it or not this is nettle that I picked, dried, harvested and dried a year ago pretty much today and um, there's nothing wrong with it when it comes down to making cordage all we do is we extract it from the bundle and you begin to separate the lengths you do it with a little care because at the moment this is a little fragile you're getting this stuff together and then we're going to soak that in water and then we start the cordage so at this point in time you have to decide what you're going to be using this for and what you're doing with it but for right now let's just make a small piece of string you could be making rope you could be making fishing line um, and because of it being a natural substance if you was to take your hands like that and push you're going to find there's some organic matter and that's not adding any strength to the cordage so you need to be straight scraping that away a little bit however if you want the colour of it you can leave it right there it depends what you're doing um, so if we wanted we could make some really thick stuff but on this occasion what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit off and that's going to be my stock and we're going to store this so we're going to start on my leg and we're going to start doing that when you let go it will bounce back but the more you do it the more it will train into what you're trying to tell it to do next thing you can do is you can pick it up in the middle like this so you've got two and you work with the one that's closest to you so you're just really rolling that forward between your thumb and your finger until it can't get any tighter then you stock it you grab hold of the other one and do the same so they're both tightly bound and then you begin to wind then they even want to do it themselves because you put that power in then you pick it up here come back put more power in here 
a little power in here and off you go. Suddenly you are making some very very powerful cordage. But there's two things you're going to notice. So this one is thicker than this one and we're also running out of both of them. So I'm going to get another piece and because the top one needs more what I'm going to do is come near the end tuck it under my finger unwind this back so it'll accept it by holding them together like this now push that in they've now become one and they're the same weight as the one below and we've extended the length so off we go once again and that might not be a lot of distance covered but the distance that we have covered has a lot of power and it's balanced in its size and weight and the little lay-in bits we can cut them all off afterwards but you need to remember to hold the gateway which is where all the work is just about to happen come to here come to here wind it in this is getting shorter so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag some of that off of there, which is going to lighten it up a little bit. Get the next strand, lay it on, lay it in, blend it up, and then carry on. Anyway, once you know you can do that, you can go as far as you like. And that's gonna, that can be helping you to uh, bind handles and knives. It can be helping you to uh, set traps. This can be helping you to pretty much do anything you need a bit of string for. So there's nettle cordage. Hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to follow and subscribe and um, share it with your friends. Cheers for now.